Hey, water sign. Welcome into June 11th. This is your daily read. What's going on with you guys? This is a general read for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, water signs. Okay, so we're looking at twin flame soulmate relationships. What's going on? If you're interested in more about twin flames, uh, I have something called the Empress Club that I've built. Uh, it's a closed group on Facebook. You can come on over and do daily reads. And the group is just very um, open and interesting and people helping each other. So, all right, let's see what's going on with you guys. Twin flame soulmate relationships. Also, um, in the middle of the month, we do singles readings and also um, abundance readings, you know, as we go. Okay. Here is what's going on. One more, please. Messages that people need to hear. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Yay! Come to the end of a cycle. Yay! <laughs> oh my God! We've come to the end of a cycle. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. This is where you can... Yes! Oh dear. <laughs> Going to something better. Yes. Going to something better. Please. Ah, uh, all right. Spoiler alert. Outcome. Ace of Cups. So... You have come to the end of a cycle with somebody. You are done. D-U-N. You want the real deal. You want this four of wands. You want a better, you want a happy, joyful relationship. And there's something about this that has, that is not, okay? This devil energy here um, has really become very difficult, okay? It has really become super difficult and... You, Six of Swords, moving on to something better after a betrayal, okay? Moving on to something better, Four of Wands. So you're going in the right direction. You're going in the right direction, moving on, moving forward. This other person, I, is it possible you both betrayed each other? Water sign, is that possible? Judgment card, Queen of Swords, telling the truth. After getting the awareness of what's going on here, you said it, or they said it out loud, and they're moving on too. Eight of Cups. They're moving on. You're moving on. Both moving toward a new, fresh. This relationship, Ten of Wands, Devil, was doomed to fail. And we'll find out why. But, um... It's like this relationship was not based on a soulful connection or a love that was spiritual, right? It was based in something else. It could have been based in materialism, security, things that can be broken down if there's no love, right? Love is the water that feeds the plants. If there's no water to feed the plants, the earth dries up and the plant dies. And you guys, water signs, do understand that better than most people, okay? You are really, truly um, ready and willing and able to love. So this Ten of Swords, the Queen of Swords is like, I'm going to cut you, all right? This person who you're with, um, the awareness has come to them. They know what's going on. They know what's going on. Um... Ten of Swords, feeling betrayed. What's this about? Relationship, page. Other people, yeah, other people. It's almost like you both, it's a four-party situation? Um, it's almost like you both, there's something that happened <clears throat> on both sides of this. <coughs> Whatever the betrayal was, it's like um, you feel betrayed for, you know, cheating. They feel betrayed for being lied to or something like that. There's something here about the truth coming out and things moving forward, moving on. So for some of you, this is moving away from each other. For some of you, this is moving together. Like the Ten of Swords have happened. The, the Ten of Wands have happened getting eradicating the devil right getting rid of that devil we're done with this cycle we're done with this 
moving on to something new and fresh. So can you come together? Certainly. There's an opportunity here to push away from that. And I say that because there's this relationship, Hierophant, the relationship could have been a little bit too rigid or could have been constraining, but there is an apology here. That's also new love, an apology. This five of wands, there's a lot of other people involved here. A lot of other people. So whether, I mean, it's not always about um, cheating or whatever. There's other people involved in this conversation, like your parents, friends, um, co-workers, people that you confide in. And for you, it's sort of like, I feel like you moved on when you felt betrayed and, you know, other people are sort of egging you on a little bit about this. This person got news of the betrayal. They had an awakening. And they were like, oh, my God, this is this relationship is not meant for me. And so they're moving on. You guys are cutting ties with the devil. Cutting ties with the devil. That's a good trick. The awareness, the awakening that this was over has is not been lost on this person that you're with. OK, you likely have moved on. I remember a friend of mine who was destroyed by his girlfriend leaving him. And I didn't know the story. And he was just destroyed. And I was like, did you leave her? And she's like, right after she left me. And that's what this feels like. That, the, that you are feeling betrayed. You move on so you can have better relationship. So you can have a better thing. Something better in your life. You want something better for yourself. This person... Then was like, oh, they're leaving me. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you too. It just became too much. Devil, ten of wands. It just became too much. Okay, so now the universe is offering you Ace of Cups. So now that all this leaving has taken place, what does that Ace of Cups mean? Is it a new opportunity for you to come back together? and have a new cycle, something new needs to happen here, or have you moved on to other people? We will look into that further in the extended. Um, for some of you, there's an opportunity to come back together though, okay? Just saying, I just wanna make sure, because I'm definitely feeling that Ace of Cups has an opportunity, there's opportunity here, because the truth is now out. There's an opportunity, Ace of Cups, okay? So, blocks to love, actions to take. Let's find out from this Queen of Swords here what's going on. Messages to you from this other person. What do they want to tell you? And then, as this unfolds, how does this unfold? And um, what's your best course of action here? Okay? Guidance from the universe. Click on the link below, and we will see water signs over on the other side. June 11th, water. See you over there.